Fellow Gambians, I come to you today because something tragic has happened in our National Assembly by some MPs through the guidance of President Barrow decided to vote against the draft constitution. By doing that, they denied citizens their right to have their say in our new constitution. On July 22nd, 1994, a young guy came on the airwaves stating that Jawara had overstayed, made a lot of promises that made a lot of Gambians like him. And they stood with him because they said, yes, yes, Jawara has been here too long. The PPP government has been in power too long. They overstayed uh, their time. And then he became the darling of the Gambia. But soon, soon after, Yaya Jami started killing people. And for 22 years, he terrorized Gambians. And Gambians finally, in 2016, decided to form a coalition called Coalition 2016 to go against Jami. One of the things that was unique was there was this soft-spoken candidate in the name of Adam Abaro, who made it very clear to all Gambians that him coming on board and through a memorandum of understanding, he signed that he will serve as a transitional president. And even after he won the presidency, President Barrow went further by telling the media, including some Senegalese media platforms, and he vehemently argued the fact that, no, 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 my job, I do not want to stay beyond my three years. I am here to transition Gambia into our new found democracy. But the moment President Barrow settled in that cushy chair, President Barrow saw something that he didn't see while he was in the outside. The first thing he did was come out and say that he wanted to go beyond the three years and he was going to stay for five years. And then what baffles me is the same President Barrow invested $116 million in the Constitution Review Committee. He invested that much money. He gave them the mandate to go around the country and in the diaspora to ask Gambians for their opinions about what they want to see in this document. I'll be very honest with you. When the committee was first formed, I was like, oh, they're just gonna go through this and then they'll decide what they wanna decide. But then when I saw how they engaged the diaspora and those on the ground, I was really, really impressed. And to the members of the Constitution Review Committee and their staff, I say kudos to you. Thank you for a job well done. Because what happened is Professor Ambera gave you a mandate and you have an A plus in your delivery of the mandate he asked you to deliver. He told you to go out to the Gambian people, get their opinions, and you did. And the Gambian people said, gave him term limits and gave every single president, not just President Barra, but every single president, because they did not want what happened with the PPP regime and what happened with the Ajami to continue in our country. And you came up, the Gambians recommended a mandate, which is presidential term limits. And there were many, many things in that constitution that ended dictatorial tendencies in the Gambia. Because if you remember, Yaya Jame created that constitution to, 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 for himself. It was a way for him to entrench himself as a dictator. So a lot of changes were made, removing the IAJM laws out of our constitution, but then adding things that would go in tandem with a democracy. So the Constitution Review Committee, President Barrow, did exactly what you wanted them to do, was to go and bring you a constitution that goes in tandem with what Gambians wanted. You, President Barrow, took that constitution and took it to the National Assembly telling the National Assembly, you know what? This is what Gambians want. I am putting it before you. But what was crazy about the whole idea was that as much as you did that, you, you brought a stalwart to the whole system because you were not happy with the fact that your mandate ends if you were to win this forthcoming election, your mandate will, will, will stop beyond that. President Barrow, out of your own selfishness, the Gambia today has lost a chance to be the democracy we all yearned for, the democracy we all fought for, the democracy we all wanted. 
Today, you have demonstrated to Gambians that you are a dictator. And I'll say this, dictators as we know them kill people. But there's dictatorship where you manipulate the system to fit your own need. And that's what you did today. Gambia is a sad country today because you have taken us back. We wanted to move ahead and remove ourselves out of dictatorship. But your actions today demonstrated to me, as a citizen of the Gambia, that you want me to be governed through dictatorship. And here you are. You know, the, uh, uh, your Chief Justice has uh, 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 said that he is going to, now we're going to go with the <laughs> electoral laws. We know what's going to happen there too. That means you have already pocketed those National Assembly members that voted for you today. So you are going to use this opportunity to get all the bills passed to fit your need. To me, that's dictatorship. Because what you have done is strategically, manipulatively, used our, our parliament to get what you want. And President Barrow, it all boils down to one thing. You do not want to step down. What you promised Gambians during the elections is not what you delivered. And for that, I am disappointed. And to the Gambians who are celebrating today, remember that many of you celebrated when Yajami came to power. And then you all you know, ended up regretting your decision. You may not see you know, what's under the hood, but some of us do because we have seen this music played before and we ended up into 22 years of dictatorship. Today, what I would implore the political parties to do is to please, please unite. Yes, coalition 2016 failed, but here's your, other, here's your last opportunity to fight for the soul of our you know, country's politics to fight for the soul of the Gambian democracy that you came together to, to, to usher, except that the person that you chose at the time decided to be a betrayer in chief today. Thank you.